So last month, Charlotte went running 12 times. On seven of her jogs, she ran three and one-third miles. On the other five jogs, she ran five and two-fifths miles. What was the total number of miles Charlotte ran last month? So given this problem, what will our solution look like? We need to find the total number of miles ran. So here's our breakdown given the information. On seven of her jogs, she ran three and one-third miles. On five of her jogs, she ran five and two-fifths miles. So by finding these two products, I can add them together and figure out how many miles that she ran in total. So how do we find these products when we have these mixed numbers involved? First, let's look at three and one-third. Now since the denominator of our fraction is 3, we want to express the whole number 3 in terms of thirds. So if I think of 3 as 3 wholes, and taking each of those 1 wholes and dividing it into thirds, then I can count those thirds. I have 3 thirds, 6 thirds, and 9 thirds in total. So I can express 3 as 9 thirds. They would both mean the same thing. So I'm going to replace that 3 with 9 over 3. Again, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And now I can add these two fractions together since they have a common denominator. And 9 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is equal to 10 over 3. So what we just did was took the original 3 and 1 third, that mixed number, and we converted it into an improper fraction that was equivalent. So 10 over 3 is equal to 3 and 1 third. And now we are ready to multiply that by 7. Now we can express 7 as a fraction, as 7 over 1. Again, they mean the same thing. And when we multiply these two fractions together, our product is 70 over 3. And 70 divided by 3 is equal to 23 with a remainder of 1, so in this case 1 third. And now we know that she ran a total of 23 and 1 third miles on those 7 jogs. So now we want the total amount of miles run on the other 5 jogs. So we want to do the same thing with that 5 and 2 fifths. We want to convert that mixed number to an improper fraction. So let's take that whole number 5 and express it in terms of fifths. That's the denominator of the fraction in our mixed number. So we can think of 5 as 5 wholes and then divide each of those into fifths. And then we can count the total number of those fifths. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 fifths in total. So another way to express 5 as an equivalent fraction is 25 fifths. Again, 25 divided by 5 does equal 5. The next step, since we have common denominators, is to add those two fractions together to simplify, and we're left with 27 over 5. Now we are ready to multiply that fraction by 5. We can rewrite 5 as 5 over 1, and then we can multiply numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator, which gives us 135 over 5. And if we divide 135 by 5, we're left with 27 and no remainder. So that total on those five runs was 27 miles. So what we just did was we figured out that on her seven jogs of three and a third miles, that total was 23 and one third miles ran. And on the other five jogs where she ran five and two fifths miles, that was a total of 27 miles ran. And when we add those two values together, their sum represents the total number of miles that she ran last month, which in this case was 50 and one-third miles. And since we wanted to find the total number of miles that she ran last month, we know that we have solved this problem, and we're all done.